Okay, yeah, it's gonna be some instruction on how to assemble this cheese storage rack. Um, so when it comes, you just wanna unpackage it and find your top piece. It'll look like this. If you flip it over, there'll be an arrow on the bottom. So to put it down on a soft surface, point the arrow facing towards you. Next, you wanna grab your top support piece. It's gonna have this taller edge along the front. Um, it's gonna have screw holes on both sides. Uh, what you want to do is also have a number on the back. It'll be labeled as one. So you're going to set this down with the taller edge facing towards you, just like this. Okay, and then we're going to grab our end pieces. I'm going to find the one from where I'm sitting. So this has an L on it, so it's going to go on our left side. I'm just going to set it right on the end right here on the left side. Next, we're going to grab our hardware pack and find the silver screws. There's gonna be some shorter black ones. There's gonna be these silver ones. I'm just gonna put them right inside these pocket holes right here. Make sure it's flush along this front edge out here. Apply a little pressure on this back side and screw it in. And the screws provided, you can either use a Phillips or a number two um, square bit. I prefer actually the number two square bit. Um, you can use a screwdriver, or if you have a drill, it works better with a drill, but if you have a screwdriver, screwdriver's fine too. Just a little quicker with the drill. Okay, next we're gonna grab our other side. It's gonna have an R on the label with, or it's gonna have an R on it for right side. So from where I'm sitting, it's going to the right side. I'm just gonna complete that same step using the screws and the pocket holes. Like this. If you get a bit for your drill, just make sure it's one of the longer ones like this. It makes it easier to put it in these pocket holes. Okay, once you get those in, you can see on the top there's some lines. You just want to put the corners of the bench inside those lines. It should be an even overhang all the way around the top, just like that. <clears throat> Next, you want to come on the inside in here. There's some pocket holes that go down into the top, just like that. And then there's some holes over right here. right here All right here here and on the other end here these two pocket holes stuck on the other side okay next we're gonna tip it up like this and then we're gonna find our shelf piece. Um, find the one that's going to be labeled on the back side here, number two. So the number two is going to go, it's going to face away from you. It's going to be towards the back of the bench. So I'm going to set it in right like this. You'll see there's a little line right here and the bottom of the shelf is going to go even with that line. What you're going to do is lift up on this right here so this can slide in place right like that. I want to make sure or if you have two people helping you, it's a little easier. You want to make sure it's with even with that bottom of that line. The bottom of the shelf should be even with that line. And make sure it's nice and flush along this front edge out here. And then just simply install these screws. Okay. And then we'll come up here on top. Again, just make sure it's flush along this outside edge. Make sure it's even with that mark down there. And on these, we're just gonna put them in just a little bit, just enough to hold it there. Not all the way in, just a little bit. And we'll come back later and tighten those up, but we wanna leave enough room to get our other shelves in. So, uh, next, we're gonna grab the one label with number three on it. Do the same process right here with the number three shelf. Line, even along the front edge, with all our screws. Just take your time here putting these shelves in. Make sure they're you know, even along that front edge. And again, on these, just don't put the screws all the way in yet. Just enough to kind of hold it there. 
We're going to grab our number four shelf. I kind of get the idea here. They're all going in exactly the same. Same way. This bottom floor piece is going to have three screws on each end instead of two like the shelves did. Okay. Even along this front edge out here. It may take a little pressure to pull it over to make sure that it's even. You kind of hold it over as you're putting your screw in. Okay, on these screws, you can tighten them all the way up. And then just come back and tighten these all the way down. Make sure all your screws and stuff are clear and set your bench down with the back side facing up. Um, next, you're going to grab your back pieces. You'll notice one is a little taller than the other. Um, it also has a red mark on the top right here. So what you're going to do is that red mark, so we'll flip it like this. You'll notice these holes, some of them are kind of hollowed out and the other ones are, are flat. So this is the inside. These ones that have the grooved out or it goes on the back side. This red mark right here is just going to go towards the top. That's where it is. Next, you're going to grab your short black screws. These require a Phillips bit. So if you were using a number two square, you're just going to have to switch it out or get a screwdriver with a Phillips bit. And you'll see these holes. Just simply start installing it in all these holes. Make sure this, the counter side screw heads are facing the back side here. And the green mark will go towards the top. Just inside the groove there. And again, just continue to install your screws. Assembly, we just tip it up here. Turn it around. There you go. Just let me know if you have any questions or any problems with assembly. Thank you.